but welcome to part two of my Marie Kondo tidy up. This is based on me reading the second book of hers called Spark Joy. I will link that book review and the first review and my old videos from last year when I did this in the description bar if you want to know more. But in this video I'm going to be tackling clothes, shoes and then like miscellaneous stuff, paperwork and I think that's it. I also maybe want to go through my pins. I know that's not technically something you would think of doing and not everyone is going to do in the Marie Kondo thing but I'm going to go through all my pins and sort out the ones that I definitely want to keep and that spark joy and the ones that I want to trade or sell. So this is what we are working with today. This is my wardrobe. Um, yeah this time around obviously half of it's got down stuff in it so I've got even more limited space and obviously I won't be touching his stuff. His stuff drives me mad because it's never that organised really and he always leaves hangers in with nothing on them. I don't know so I've got that and then I've got all the little usual bits hanging up and then I've got a drawer down here and some other things. I'll also go through my underwear, I won't be showing that um, but yeah and also my shoes. So I feel like it's going to be a tough one. So yeah, I haven't got work tomorrow so I can step a little bit later to do this today. And um, Darren is currently on a two hour driving lesson. So I've got a little bit of time to myself to just go through it all. Um, let's get started. And while I'm doing this I'm probably going to watch a load of YouTube videos. That's my top tip. Kondo method says and it just does that it literally just sags so I'm going to try and refold it a couple different ways and see how I get on might be that it needs a couple more folds but then it j I don't understand how it's supposed to stand. Oh, well, that stands up. But I don't know how realistic that is. Hmm. Maybe that's the size that it was supposed to be last time, and I just didn't fold it up that small. We shall see. I'll fold it up like that for now, but I can guarantee they're not going to last that long. Stood up for that. As you can see, I did fold everything and it seemed to fold it a bit nicer. Um, and I put all my vest tops here all nicely and back here are just other little tops that don't fold as well. This way, if you get what I mean. So here I've really got like loungy tops and this is sort of more nicer going out tops. Um, quite a few like sentimental tops. I kept in here that I like to wear as like bed shirts and stuff and then in the bottom drawer 
This is where Dara keeps all his t-shirts. I have my tights in here and these are all jumpers. Um, and I just fold them normally because I find they don't tend to work as well folded up. Um, so as far as what I got rid of, I'm just going to swing you around. Um, I don't get rid of too, too much. Um, one, two, three tops and then two jumpers which I mean considering that I did this like a year ago um, and I haven't bought too too much clothes since then it's good that I'm able to get rid of stuff that I couldn't the first time round so that's what I got rid of so far I'm just gonna have another one quick look in the drawer to see if there's anything else that I want to get rid of if not we shall move on to the wardrobe I just did this process fold it all up it's all nice and neat and then realize what is that? A blimming t-shirt that I've missed. Oh, and that's very zoomed in. <sighs> Should have tied it away first. And obviously there's some stuff in the wash, but I feel that doesn't need to necessarily be in this process because obviously if it's been in the wash, it's been worn lately and I like it and I'm wearing it. So, yeah. I mean, the stuff I pulled out I haven't really worn in months. So, yeah, let's move on to the wardrobe. So, I thought, before I tackle this mess, I'm actually going to tackle, like, my pyjamas, my jogging bottoms, that sort of thing. Although, I don't think that will change too, too much. Um, but I just want to address the little bits and pieces that are on my wardrobe here. This tends to pile up full of ironing, like, all the time. So, this top probably needs to go in the wash, actually. Um... So yeah, but I definitely, I love this top. It's from that Stradivarius, however you say that brand. Stradivarius, Strada, that brand. Um, I got these when we were in Barcelona, but they have got a store in London now. Um, this is just some work stuff that I just keep out just because it's easier. And a pair of dungarees, which I've kept out because they still need to be worn a couple times before I put them in the wash. Um, but they're definitely staying in yeah. So, I will show you the two drawers. Oh, and that's my bikini I need to put in the wardrobe. Um, so we've got this drawer. And then we've got this drawer, which is sort of pyjamas in that one. Jogging bottoms in that one, but it all sort of mixes and matches. I've got jewellery and stuff in this, which I will tackle at some point. Random crap in that one. This one won't change too much. That is my little makeup drawer for the morning with all my essentials. Um, that's Darren's underwear drawer. And that's just his random crap drawer. Um, I'm also burning a candle at this point. Um, Golden Peach Sparkle by Bath & Body Works. Lovely. So I'm going to sort these out. And yeah. So I've just sorted this drawer out and as I thought nothing um, really needs to be taken out of here. I've got a couple of lacy bike shorts at the back for if it's windy that I wear with dresses, some leggings, um, but I really pared down my jogging bottoms last time. Um, there's also this pair of little white shorts that are in the other drawer which are going to go in there. So I've got my little short shorts on top and I usually actually wear them for pyjamas anyway. So they stay in there. And then I'm going to move on to my actual pyjamas, pyjamas which get switched out with those two really. So yeah. So the only thing I'm decided to get rid of is two Kath Kidson items, which will probably go onto a resale site. Um, so I haven't worn them that that much. So yeah, that's those. Come onto the wardrobe of doom. Even though I haven't actually worn these two trousers in a very very long time, I'm gonna keep them because. Ideally, I want to wear these. Um, I can see myself wearing them. I've worn them before. I like how like white jeans and tan trousers are 
worn and how they're styled so I'm gonna try and style those up and just sometimes I, I think I just take the norm blue jeans and that makes for an easy day I mean today I'm wearing black trousers which are usually my work trousers but I'm gonna try and incorporate these more into my wardrobe now As you can see, Darren's stuff is uh, put in very manly and that drives me mad. Um, so I'm just going to neaten up this bit. This bit he can leave to his messy old self um, and just sort out my three quarters of the wardrobe. pieces which I'll show you in a minute and a couple of things again are calf kids and I'm gonna um, see if anyone wants them on a resale site um, but what I managed to do was take all my skirts that were at the back of the shelf that were with my shorts and actually hang them up so I can see them um, because a lot of the time I just automatically go to jeans or trousers when I could be picking the skirt but because I couldn't see them I didn't pick them and I just again tried to reorganize my uh, wardrobe a little bit better so I've got shirts for work then I've got dresses going to a little bit fancy dresses I've got all my trousers and skirts and I've got more casual tops hanging up the only thing I'm on the fence about is this dress I'm going to try it on see if I like it or not um, and then I'm going to move on to the stuff that is over here hung up on these hooks um, oh I will show you what I pulled out from my wardrobe if I take you down here so, I've got this red bolero from Collective, which um, I bought purely for a dress which I've actually sold now. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this Team Inspire hat, I just don't wear um, a couple Cuff Kitson pieces, like I said. This dress and a skirt. Um, so, yeah, not a ton, but I'm just slowly starting to streamline my clothes a little bit more. So, you probably can't tell, or maybe you can tell, but I got rid of one thing in that whole area. Um, I really just sorted it out, because um, I use quite a few of those bits all year round. Um, they're sort of my staple pieces of like cardigans and jackets and things like that. Um, the only thing I sorted out was this scarf, which I don't wear, and again, I'm going to resell it on the Kath Kidson site. Um, yeah, and I just sorted out some of Darren's stuff, putting it back in its place, because he's sort of awful with that. And, yeah, so I know what's looming for me now, and that is shoes. I think I'm probably going to part with, like, a pair or two of Dr. Martens. Um, but when I say part with them, I'm going to sell them, probably on eBay. I'm looking at it now, and I can already tell I don't want to do it. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try. If I just try it, even if I don't get rid of any, if I all hold them all and it sparks joy, then I'll keep them. Um, because for now they still spark joy. In the future, they may not spark joy, which is completely fine. Um, I mean our tastes are constantly changing within fashion and things like that. So I'm not too too worried about shoes and stuff. I'd rather sit on it for a little bit and um not rush rush to get rid of something and then regret it really badly um so yeah i'm gonna sort or have a look at my shoes and i will let you know if i end up getting rid of any so major shocker i haven't got rid of any shoes now call that um a failure or disappointment say of it what you will but for me personally i think shoes is one of the hardest um because you may have a pair of shoes that you wear 
once every two months but you need to keep them because you will wear them once every two months um, and there is that time where I think actually I want to wear that pair of boots today um, and especially because I have quite a few pairs of um, Dr Martens they're expensive and I don't really want to get rid of them at this stage um, just sort of reorganise them a bit um, and it's not been that long since I've gone like not the last time I did this method but like sort of along the way I'm always sort of nitpicking at my clothes and shoes and seeing if there's anything I can get rid of so I haven't really long ago done that and I've sold three pairs of shoes lately um so I'm pleased about that um so I think that covers all of the clothes stuff I know there is jackets in our wardrobe downstairs um but once again that's sort of like wintry stuff and heavy coats that I don't actually have too many of so I know what's down there is what I'm keeping um so yeah I think I'm gonna have a once over of my books again um I feel like there is a couple more books that maybe I could get rid of so let's have a look so I did manage to get rid of three more books um to um give to my grandma for a spiritualist church first one is the bane chronicles i love the immortal instrument series and the shadow hunter chronicles um but this one just didn't grip me so i'm going to pass that one on as well as the prequel to the maze runner which is the kill order again i'm not that thrilled but i have kept the other maze runner books and then the final one is melissa explains it all i've read her autobiography don't really need to read it again so that's why I'm getting rid of those three and yeah I'm pretty pleased with the the pile that I've managed to um, get rid of and donate so I think that concludes today's clear out um, yeah I enjoyed doing the process again um, again it might not be quite as to the rule book as and Marie Kondo would like but everyone's way of doing it is different and I feel what I've done has been alright yes there are still definitely areas in my room that need to be sorted um, things like DVDs and paperwork and magazines things like that um, and I might possibly do another video on that if I end up doing it but I think for now it's just gonna be two parts um, but you know, say subscribe because I will probably do more organisation videos in the future anyway. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed these past couple of videos. If you've read Spark Joy, let me know what you thought of it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.